now we have to create these little squiggly things okay not a problem we are going to use um, once again we're going to use our sketch tool and use a spline to do this now keep in mind your splines don't have to look exactly like mine but they should be similar alright so let's take a look at the top view so let's click up here because we want to get a good view here and let's um, use the pan tool and let's position our ellipse so we can see it and then let's zoom in a little bit with the wheel on the mouse so we get a good view of our mitochondrion so now let's come over here to the sketch tool and we are going to use a spline and we're going to click here with our first and now I'm now going to begin to start drawing the little squiggly things in there see notice now how I can now begin to click and it is drawing and I'm making them sort of squiggly right the way they are in the drawing as I said yours don't have to look just like mine but we want to make sure that they are that they represent the visualization as you will see I will stick to my day job as an IT guy alright so but we're making progress so this is a very tedious part of the design so now I'm going to come down and the idea here is we are going to come bring this back and connect to our original points okay so that's all I'm doing here is just making sure that it is somewhat representative of what we're trying to visualize here and in a moment you'll see why that is important alright so I'm about ready to connect back to my original point and that is going to be right here and wow look at that so now I have a complete spline it, it it starts here goes all the way around and connects back like I said your um, yours does not have to look exactly like mine but it should be close to it so let's go ahead and click the exit mode okay and let's go back to